hello guys so today we'll be doing rank analysis now for that first we'll copy the data so as you could see earlier that the only questions for my ranking were questions 8 a to 8 f so the data i'll be copying out from is for 8 a to 8 f right click copy go to excel right click again and paste now we'll come to the labels so labels again select right click copy and you can paste the labels at the bottom of the table all over here or over here at the side of the table now for right now i'll just paste it up this side since it will be comfortable for you as well and paste you can run these labels as a title as well over here and transpose data now we'll add a likert scale on the top of this labels so right now as you can see the likert scale ranges from 1 to 6 for this particular data set so i'll add that now next we'll uh, count the number of respondents who ranked for food as one for that we'll use the counter function select the data range which is applicable make it absolute by pressing f4 comma and for criteria we'll just select from the above range that way we can drag and select and we'll do not need to change our formula every time for each cell close bracket enter now see just click and drag that way this applies on everything similarly for the other one equal to count if range again press f4 choose the criteria close bracket enter then drag i'll do the other four for as well and uh, i'll just skip the part for you okay so right now i'm ready with my data set now next we'll add score and basis of on and basis of score we'll determine which shall be ranked where exactly so to calculate the score we'll use a sum product function so equal to sum product now for sum product first select your Likert scheme make it absolute by pressing f4 and then next we'll have to select the number of respondents you've counted for each rank this you do not need to make absolute as again you'll be dragging and dropping it for other variables as well so close bracket enter now double click over here the function is automatically calculated for each and every one of them and that's basically how you can assume that for this particular data set uh, one was on a positive scale and six was on a negative scale so the data with the least score becomes the most positive factor and the data with the highest score becomes the least or shall i say the most negative factor so that's it for rank analysis thank you